So today, I'm gonna build potato boxes to grow potatoes. We grew them in straw bales last year. Had some mild luck with it. Um, the biggest issue that we had here, yellow jackets nest down in the ground. So when you went to go harvest potatoes, we disturbed the yellow jacket nest. Needless to say, I left the potatoes that I couldn't get, but I have volunteers um, and I'll show you those here a little bit later on. But today, we're gonna do potatoes in boxes. So I'm gonna make boxes to put potatoes in. Now, I've done potatoes in tires before. I've had success with it. The, some of the things that I found that we had issues with was the tires got too hot um, and the potatoes were really, really small. But it did work. Um, you could do it. Okay, I would just maybe suggest painting the tires white or something to reflect the heat, the sun. But they do get really, really, the tires get really hot. Um, so, but we did get potatoes. So this year we're going to make boxes um, to where we'll put the soil on as it grows. Then it comes harvest time, we'll just take the slats out or take an end off harvest potatoes. So we're going to try it that way. A lot of homesteading, if you've never done it before, is trial and error. Okay? Um, I tell you, that's how we learn. You know, we don't, I'm not the fortunate one that gets it perfect right out of the gate. I don't do it. Okay? It just doesn't happen for me. So, this year, this is what we're going to do. So let me show you what we have here. We have leftover skids. So I'm using what I have. You can use what you have around the house. I have leftover skids that I had collected for my composting bins. Um, some, th some of these I paid for. Some of these were completely free. Like this big one right here that you see. This one right here. This one right here. This big board. I got it from an electrical supply company. It was free. Just take it. It's free building materials. They have two by fours and some decking boards. Why not? What am I going to need? Well, basic tools. I want to show you what I'm going to work with. I'm sure I probably may need something or may have overkill. I don't know. Just bringing out what I have. Um, so work with what you have. Don't go out to the store. Just work with what you have. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. You know, it's something to grow food in. Learn to think outside the box. Learn to look at something and say, what else can I use that for? How else could I use this item to do what I need it to do? You know, a lot of homesteaders make a lot of their own product. They watch YouTube, they get ideas. They look at Pinterest, they get ideas. And go, I could do that. So the whole idea is take the first step. So let's see what I'm gonna work with today. Power tools, basic power tool set, cordless drill, come as a box set. I'm not a spokesman, support a cable. You know, if they wanna sponsor me, that's great. Somebody that works for the company, hit me up. I'll be more than glad to test any product you have because I don't have any sponsors. You want to sponsor me? Sponsor me! Porter Cable? Come on. You'll be alright? Anyway, being serious now. Irwin, quick clamps, always nice to have. An extra set of hands. Hammer. Measuring tape. That is my little caddy there that I use. I got this at Lowe's. So it's Ketter. Ketter, you want to be a sponsor? Hit me up. Anybody at home that works for Ketter? Leave me a, you know, give me a shout out down in the comment section below. Same thing with Porter Cable. Irwin. You know, because nobody sponsored me. I do this all on my own. But I found it at Lowe's. Same thing. Lowe's, you want to sponsor? Give me a shout out. 
Um, I just like the bin. I put different screws in there. I put drywall screws in there. Short ones, long ones, staples. I keep my drill pieces in there, my for chucks. I got a few gussets in there. It's just a quick box. And goldfish for snacks and water for hydration. Says you must always keep hydrated. And of course, I've got a little tool bag over there filled with a bunch of other stuff I just threw in there. Um, shims from another project, spade bits, chargers, more screws. I think there's a speed square in there, maybe. I don't know. So, yeah, we'll put the camera down, quit cabin. This is where. My wife will probably put in music and show me working on time lapse. I'll probably put the GoPro out somewhere. Like I said, sorry about the wind, guys, but it's pretty, been cooped up. Let's build something. I want build something with what we have laying around the house. That's the first step. Let's take it. Here we go. Oh my. Are you on the pile? Yeah. What are you doing on the pile? Just standing up here, like breaking sticks. Breaking sticks. Okay, well, guess what? Oh. I brought your little toolbox. You get the help today. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. All right. So with this, now I'm going to make a front. I'm going to make something that I can slide slats down in or make a, a lid slide in over top of it or a side. That way when it comes time to harvest, okay, slide that out, start feeding all that soil out. If you put this box somewhere near your garden, just throw in the soil back on the garden for next year. And then you can put more soil or compost in it for the following year. I'm gonna put this where we did the potatoes and the straw bales on the ground, where we just planted potatoes right in the earth, put straw on them. So it doesn't matter. All that soil, I'm just, for this year, this is how I'm gonna do potatoes, and I'm amending the soil with when I'm done, just throwing it back out there and I'll put something out there next year. Just help building that bed up with nutrients. So, now let's figure out what we're gonna do for this.
All right. Here's my box. My janky box. But, just remember, use what you have, make something. If it gets you through a growing season, that's great. You've had experience building something. Okay? I'm going to have you step in my shadow here. So, there's the box. It's screwed to four corners. My handle, pop it out. So, simple. Used what I had. I have more skids left. We'll probably make a bigger potato bin with four skids. Okay? Because, like I said, these were... Most of these were free. Didn't cost me nothing. Just labor to pick them up and I got more I need to pick up. A young lady called me and said, hey, I've got more free ones for you. A brand new battery put in there and it is almost dead. Okay. All right, so you can build anything. Just start somewhere. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to try. Use what you have. If it works for a season, great. If it grows you something, that's great. Use it. Learn from it. Um, so, that's what I did today amongst other domestic chores like dinner, laundry, taking care of little ones, teaching them some schoolwork. So, hope you all have a good day. I uh, hope you learned something, and we'll see you on the next video.